Elon Musk's held SpaceX raised around $1.16 billion via equity funding over the last two months. SpaceX was founded in 2002 to enable the colonization of Mars in order to reduce space transportation costs. SpaceX manufactures the Falcon Heavy, Falcon 9, Dragon Cargo, several rocket engines, Starship launch vehicles, Starlink communications satellites and crew spacecraft. SpaceX is now reportedly being valued at $74 billion. Between December 2020 to March 2021, in just four months, the company had built four Starship prototypes, SN8, SN9, SN10 and SN11, and launched on high-altitude flight tests. In this video, we are going to talk about how SpaceX builds Starship engines so fast. The video is going to be very informative, so make sure you stick till the end. SpaceX has many achievements to date that have made this company really popular among the public. Around 143 small satellites were manufactured and launched, and this was a record. The revenue SpaceX generates is 2 billion US dollars as of 2019 statistics and has around 8,000 employees hired under it. They also have partnered with NASA in many ventures. But how does SpaceX manage to make all this feasible for them? I want to make rockets a hundred times if not a thousand times better. The ultimate objective is to make humanity a multi-planet species, Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, said. Here are some of the strategies SpaceX uses to build Starship engines so fast. Rapid filtering and analysis. This is one of the techniques used to quickly assess the damage and inventions that they make, where a group of analysts and specialists understand all the aspects and decide to optimize it more. There are clear-cut systems that they employ where they assess the engineering, financial and design of the prototype entirely and guess whether it's a success or failure. The team is research intensive and hence makes sure they compile all this as soon as the launch is complete. This is what makes the analysis very impactful. Old problematic issues are quickly discarded and fresher ideas or solutions are quickly employed in order to not lose time. This is very important in analysis and gets a lot of things done. This is one of the primary reasons for why SpaceX's fast output, losing time is not an option there. Using materials wisely. Carbon fiber and other high quality polymers cost a lot. Sure, they deliver quality, but using the principle of material economy is also quite amazing. The prototypes and models tend to use stainless steel instead of carbon fibers in their rockets and spaceships. Stainless steel is way cheaper than carbon fiber. An inside source said they constructed the rocket by welding steel rings together and focusing on engine manufacturing and propulsion and fuel economy. This is a bonus because when you piece together the overall cost of all the rockets, it saves up a lot. The material science industry is already booming. This department in SpaceX seems to hold a lot of promise in this aspect. Cost effectiveness is key and we all can relate to that when we go shopping. Professional research and development team. For any engineer and aerospace company, having a distinguished team and engineers is the primary target. SpaceX hires the best in the field. It keeps a small but very qualified workforce that tends to be efficient and works under fervent pressure. They choose experienced staff to understand how long a certain task would take and how they can strategize to efficiently complete the work. The laboratories and garages given for work are very minimal and most of the time the workers are made to work outdoors. The highest paying jobs in SpaceX are construction manager and principal manufacturing engineer. As they are of prime focus, people are made to work 50 hours a week, but this is pushed to 80 during taxing deadlines. Even their interns are supposed to have a GPA of about 3.5. This shows the quality of work SpaceX expects from its staff and we see this delivered in their goods. Iteration and iterative design. Iteration and iterative design are a major style of SpaceX and they are trying something new every single time. Technically optimize every single model over and over again. Like if one rocket successfully launches, then the next few would retain the correct aspects of the previous one and more things would be fitted. This actually helps in innovation in the long run and contributes to development. Iteration means keeping the ideas and plans that are a success and quickly optimizing the ones that caused the problem. It is a fancier form of troubleshooting and is more effective. This iterative design thus helps in learning from past mistakes and using the best designs rather than using a completely new workflow. This helps in getting the fund and permission sanction and also quickly allows us to start the next project as soon as possible. 
funding. The funding for SpaceX is insanely high. They have a great finance management team and amazing strategists. From what we observe, the funding for SpaceX has always been managed really well. Musk makes sure he keeps the cars and other aspects of his company, Tesla, running and investing the profits in SpaceX. SpaceX manages the cost aspects very well. Musk is very open about his investments in stocks and his knowledge of the stock market is off the charts. Using it strategically, Musk makes sure most money keeps on rolling in. For any company, money speaks and dictates how the company should function. Sure, works out perfectly, and Musk's phenomenal tweets just add more popularity to SpaceX and Tesla. His fan base contributes a lot to the financial building of his company. Construction processes are very simple. The research labs are of two extremes, one really advanced and high level and one where they make the rockets and ships out in the air open. Basic manufacturing techniques are used like manual welding, intensive manual labor and normal vehicles. They do not spend a lot on high-tech vehicles for building, so they cut back on these costs a lot. Apart from that, the deadlines are really fast and the labor force caters to it immediately with their resources. Unlike NASA, where they have top-notch facilities, their machine parts are built here. Major piecing together of machine parts happened outside in normal garages and workshops. The main target of SpaceX is to see the colonization of Mars by 2030. Why? Because Musk said it openly that he wants it done within his lifetime. Here, we should remember that Musk is very futuristic and he sees the way into the future. So he probably realized that as the rate of development and innovation are progressing, we may not make it to Mars anytime soon. So he's pushing all the progress further so that he can get it done in front of his eyes. He said this in his interviews and as a source for his motivation. The other month, I hope I'm not dead by the time people go to Mars. If we don't improve our progress, I'm definitely going to be dead before before we go to Mars. Elon Musk. It makes sense as we think that many pioneers in science often died before their futuristic dreams were even realized. We want to step onto Mars in our lifetime. Science and developments are carefully tough things to pursue. We have to make sure that things are done right and keep patience. But when the dreams are stronger, why should we wait? Isn't it best for us to keep pushing ahead and working hard? A company's development strategy should always be the best. It reflects their progress. While there are careful developmental plans, there are also aggressive approaches that give both benefits and losses. But across the chart, the arrow would just push ahead in lieu of the above point. The whole of SpaceX is just pushing ahead. They are constructing, launching and constantly developing at a very high rate and funding is definitely not an issue here. We can see their progress in leaps and bounds and with newer spaceships launched and more rockets sent into the atmosphere, many Starlink satellites are continuously being sent aboard and Falcon 9 rocket in Earth's low orbit making the total constellation count 788. They have a lot of developmental plans and it is left to be seen if the company would be instrumental to huge scientific leaps in the world. Let us know your opinion about SpaceX and its growth in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Thanks for watching.